Nearly half of Americans have tried to lose weight in the past year, but unwanted weight could have a surprising cause. More than 30 million women are impacted by lipedema, a misunderstood and underdiagnosed disorder. Joining us to explain is plastic surgeon Dr. Jamie Schwartz, founder of Total Lipedema Care. Good morning. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. Let's get right into this because I had never heard of this before. Tell us what is lipedema. Lipedema is thick tissue that grows mainly around the legs of women. The problem is it resembles fat and everybody thinks it's fat. It has nothing to do with fat though. It grows during hormonal changes, starts at puberty, gets worse with pregnancy, and sometimes even menopause. And the problem is that it's diagnosed as obesity, but the treatment is completely different. So people might be, you know, scratching their heads. Why isn't my body responding to my diet, my exercise? So talk to us about why it is so often misdiagnosed. The reason it's misdiagnosed, when you go into your doctor, they look at standardized things such as BMI, body mass index. Basically, it says your height and your weight and how healthy you are. Mm -hmm. If you're an athlete or you have thick tissue like lipedema, it puts you into a category that says you're unhealthy, but you're really not. And so when we look at those things, these people, they try to ask for help and don't really know how to. Yeah, I, I'm six foot, 225 pounds. I get called obese every time I go to get my BMI checked out. Uh, I'm curious, though, uh, you look at the legs, and for some people, they would say, okay, this is the way my body is. How does this impact someone's life? The worst part about lipedema is that it become very painful and debilitating mm -hmm. over time. It's, it's hard for people to walk. Their legs feel heavy. It's really interesting. Sometimes their legs hurt so much their grandkids or their pets can't even sit on their laps. Wow. I mean, that's how, that's, how, that's how much it hurts them. And we've seen a, a big rise in demand for a new class of weight loss drugs like Ozempic. Yeah. Do those drugs work for people that have lipedema? Those drugs don't work for lipedema. The problem with Ozempic and all the new drugs, when you take them, they make you feel full. You don't want to eat. The problem is these women are already starving themselves. They've tried every diet, they clerk restrict. You then add that when they're not eating enough. I mean, it's really unhealthy for them. So how is it treated? It's treated, it's thick tissue that causes a lot of inflammation in the body. When we remove that tissue, they feel better, sometimes even the next day. I've developed a technique called manual lipidema extraction. It's almost like a deep massage, but we get all that bad tissue out and that's when people feel better. So it's a surgical procedure. That you're, that you're suggesting for the treatment. Yeah. What about for people who suspect they may have it? How can you tell if you're at home whether it's cellulite or lipedema? Because they seem to resemble each it other. Look, yeah, it looks similar. Well, it's a great question. The thing is, it starts at different times. Really, it starts at puberty. So if you're young and you start seeing your legs get larger, you're very athletic, you start saying, what's going on here? But the pain is a differentiating mm. factor for it. Obesity, cellulite, those things don't hurt. Your legs, if somebody presses on you and they, somebody grabs your arm and it hurts, that's totally different. Fat should not be painful, and this is not fat. So let me ask you a question. Yeah. You've treated a lot of people for this. and uh, What are the conversations like before and after? Mm. The conversations are very, um, very emotional. Mm. When I first diagnose someone with lipedema, the first thing I say to them is that this is, there's nothing you could or could have done differently to get to this point of your life. And that's the hardest thing. When they hear that, they, they've been trying to reach out for so long to family, friends, physicians, and no one listens to them. No one believes them that it's actually there. And so after, when people can walk, they come in our office dancing. They, they, I, have a, I have a patient who's 20 years old using a walker who isn't oh anymore. I mean, it's really, when you see how well people can do, six-year-old women hiking, rock climbing again, it really impacts their lives and makes you happy. What do you want people to know about lipedema? You are all about increasing awareness. And I'm also wondering, too, for people at home who are wondering, how do I have my doctor take this seriously as a potential issue that I'm dealing with? What, what's your advice to them? We're trying to educate people as best as we can. We published U.S. standard care guidelines a few years ago. We were one of the only developed countries in the world not to have them. We try to lecture. We're doing more research. Um, the best thing is we try to have stuff out there. We have webinars. We have lectures. I tell people, give that to your doctor. Give them the standard care guidelines. These are medical journals. These are things that they have to look at and hopefully consider. I'm curious because it is something that deals with pain and it, it can be debilitating to some people. Is this something insurance companies typically cover? Because any plastic surgery can be very expensive. Good point. That's an amazing question. Years ago, 
no insurance companies were covering it. Since we published the guidelines, insurance companies are covering it. Over 90% of the people we take care of have insurance coverage for this. Oh, it's a huge thing for us, and we, we're actually fighting with them and getting more and more women covered every day. Well, I think it's such an important conversation to raise this awareness for people who may be struggling with this and don't even know. So thank you for being here today. To learn more about lipedema and the work of Dr. Schwartz, you can head to TotalLipedemaCare.com. Dr. Schwartz, thank you so much. You. And thank we'll be right back. This is Toyota Electrified, America's largest electrified